before 2005, Kisumu City was in a deplorable state in terms of water and sanitation. The intervention of AFD and Government of Kenya assisted in um, developing water and sanitation infrastructure uh, by implementing Kisumu water supply and sanitation program. Now we are able to have a combined uh, Dunga treatment capacity of 45,000 cubic meter. Before the intervention, water supply to Kisumu was only available six hours in a day. But after the intervention, Kisumu is able to have water 24 hours per day. Our primary source of water is Gaba water works, of which the raw water input is from the open Lake Victoria. The immediate surrounding is the cocktail of activity. So I can say that the, our biggest challenge is pollution of the raw water, and that constrains the treatment process and also drives up the cost of treatment. There are actually two primary challenges. The first one was that the lake levels were receding. The second is that the algae was very active in the inner Maxion Bay, where we abstract our water for treatment at Gaba. So we had to go further into the lake, about 210 meters offshore. We went to do the open waters because we had to continue providing uh, services to the population. AFD was definitely a very strong partner on that project. AFD have been financing several water and sanitation uh, components in, in Tanzania, specifically in Mwanza region and the other satellite towns around the Lake Victoria. Uh, in Imagu, we constructed a modern water treatment plant, an eco-sludge treatment plant also. The population will benefit from this uh, new water treatment plant. It's about 103,000 people. We have uh, two water wastewater treatment plants, a conventional water treatment plant in Kisat and uh, the lagoon in uh, Nyalenda. Before the plants were not operating at all. Now we are able to meet and treat the wastewater to the required quality. That is recommended for disposal to water bodies. When there is no proper sanitation, all waste involving industrial waste, uh, human waste gets its way into the water sources. Uh, in Mwanza, we have been uh, implemented uh, the simplified sewerage systems in three pilot areas of uh, Kirimahewa, Mabatini, and Igogo. In Kirimahewa, about 702 people are benefiting from this uh, simplified sewerage system, which is already completed and it is operational. In 26 primary school, they benefited with the construction of toilets, which include also for the teachers, uh, pupils, and the disabled. Now the AFD and the other the development partners, uh, the European Investment Bank, were very much interested. So they decided to, to scale up to another areas and to another schools with the similar interventions. Now we have 45 schools who are benefiting from this uh, scale-up construction of uh, toilets. After completion for this toilet, more than 60,000 students will be benefiting. There's an improvement for the sanitation because now there are minimal wastewater which are going straight to the, to the Lake Victoria right now. As a result of the, the gaps that uh, have emerged uh, from the concluded Kisumu Water Supply and Sanitation Program. There's a new program that has been uh, launched, Lake Victoria Water and Sanitation Program. The project's objective is to upscale water and sanitation uh, services within Kisumu and the satellite towns. We are aiming at identifying the pressure that adds on to pollution into our water system once identified and be able to sustainably manage it such that we maintain good water quality to be able to supply to the consumer. Our work will be used by the managers in the water system, policy makers and in the academia. Our major pressure which we have identified are mainly coming from the addition of nutrient which is nitrogen, phosphorus, which are mainly cause of the algal bloom, which is turning our water green. Our staff will benefit 
Lake Victoria a lot by the database which is created now. We have known the source of pollution into the lake, how it is coming in. So from that, you can then see what can be done to eradicate the since inception in 2001, Nogam has worked with over 1.2 million smallholder farmers who have been trained uh, in different organic agricultural activities. And they have been linked to markets. We have uh, observed that organic farming is very, very strategic in terms of promoting sustainability around the lake. Organic, tetufuira. Bukosa organic, itakateri fa mangu. We wali mira, osobola kuzza ono zawe mirundi ne mirundi ngitakali chali jimu. Ebirungi ebirala biri kunima organic ngeke tuyanye nyanja, teko sabye nyanja. The three year project funded by AFD will also focus on the markets, putting in place strategies that ensure that all the crops from the farm have their destiny into the market. And we are talking about domestic marketing structures as well as the export marketing structures.